Yeah, it's closed, man. I'm not surprised it's kind of after store hours, you know, so. Yeah, I was gonna use that bathroom, but it's closed. It's closed. Yeah, I figure why not do a little video here, revisit these older elevators, which unfortunately smell like the bathroom that's closed. How nice. But you can see why I wanted to film this again. It's got these cool lights in here, you know, it's kind of unique. It also connects an, uh, an office building. There you go, go take another elevator. See how the guy walked in, walked out, he saw me with the camera, you know. He's <laughs> got advantages sometimes when you look like a, like a cop, seriously. He's got advantages and you're tall on top of that. There you go. Let's see how it levels. Like I said, this connects with the uh, office building that's above this shopping center, so. Now we're back where we were. Let's go to parking. Oh, now we're going up to three. We'll go down to parking after. Yeah, I was trying to remember who made these elevators and uh, it's right here. It's a Reno, or Areno, if you will. It's funny because, you know, most of these elevators I've seen, they're very plain Jane, there's nothing very special about it, it's a typical design, but again, you know, you got this nice lighting, it's, uh, you got the eye in the sky keeping an eye on me, you know. It's okay, I'm just an eccentric. <laughs> That's what I do best. 22,000 can subscribers, can't be wrong. But I don't show anybody on camera, take it easy. Have a good day. You too, man, bon soirée. But it's true what I just said. I don't, I don't show. I try not to show anybody on camera when I'm filming elevators because it's just a question of being respectful, you know. Oh, the old contemporary phone. Holy shit! I wasn't expecting that. That's an old contemporary phone. These came out in 1970, but these elevators are not that old, though. That's what's funny. Yeah, we're gonna get off right here. I think. What are we at? One. Yeah, we'll get off.